This is video six in our web page design series in HTML. And in this video, we're going to look at line breaks and horizontal lines. Now, before we get to that, let's just first talk about um, our tags that we've learned so far. Now, we all know that every tag has a closing tag. So let's say the font tag and then we close the font tag at the end. And there's that little slash that's in front of the closing tag so that we know that that is the closing tag. So that's the rules we've been told. Every tag has a closing tag and we must keep to that rule. However, there are special tags and there are special tags that in this case, where there's just one tag and the BR tag or the break tag is an example of one of these special tags. Now, you just call it like it is. You don't need to close it, but because it's special, it still needs that slash. So we need to put that slash, but in this case, we don't put the slash at the, the beginning of it like we would on a normal closing tag. We put it at the end of the only tag that it exists. So that is an example of a special tag where it doesn't need a closing tag and we have the slash at the end. There are a couple of tags that are like that. Um, we're going to learn about three main ones. In this video, we're going to learn about two. So that is a break. Sag. Okay. So how do we apply the break? Now the break is the same way in a word document. If you had like an enter and you pressed enter, everything that came after the enter would then be on a brand new line. So let's look at the blue part there on the right hand side. Let's see. We've got a paragraph and there by the word, I hope that the skills I learned, I want that to always be on a brand new line. I don't want it in a separate paragraph. I just want it to be on a brand new line. In that case, I will put the BR tag there. There you can see I put a BR tag. It's one tag. There's no closing. It's just, it closes by itself straight away. There is our BR tag. Now, what will that do? Well, that I hope whatever is after the BR tag will now be on a brand new line. So let's look at the yellow part of the page there on the left hand side. Let's look at I hope it now. Oh, there we go. It moved to a brand new line. So there we go. So that's what the BR tag, you can see it just moved up like an enter. Okay, so that's the break tag. Another tag that also does not have a closing tag is the horizontal line tag. And that is a tag that has a line that goes from the left to the right side of the page. It's just a line that goes across the page. Now, we don't call it the HL tag. It's the HR tag, which is for horizontal rule. So not human resources, horizontal rule. So this is a tag that closes immediately. That's why we have the little slash there at the end so that we know that that is the end of the tag. There's no closing tag for an HR tag. Now there's certain properties that we might want to learn about this particular line. Maybe we want to change what it looks like. Maybe we want to change its color. So we can change the color for the, the line. Um, so inside the attribute, we will give it a color. We'll give it, let's say we were going to make it yellow. Other properties we could change. Maybe we want to change the thickness of the line. I want to make it a little bit thicker than just a thin little line. And you can change the size of the line and that will change how thick it is. And then how, how much of the page does it cover? Maybe we want to only cover half the page or a certain part of the page. We don't want a line that goes right across. We just want maybe a small line. Then you can change the width of the of the line. Now, before we get into the actual example of this, I wanted to talk about the width. Now, if I say the width is 50, that'll make the line 50 pixels in length almost. It'll make a certain length and it will always stay that particular length. But what happens if I want to change it to like half of the page? Then I can use, instead of saying 50, I can say 50 percent. Then that means it'll be 50% of the page. That means if I change the size of the web page, if I make it smaller or bigger, the actual line will get bigger and smaller depending on the size of the page, but it'll always remain 50% of that page, of the, the width of that page. So let's go try it out. So first of all, let's try add some breaks. So let's go over here. I want to add a little break over here. I want this Mr. Long's YouTube channel. I want that to always be on a new page. So I'm going to put a break over here. So I'm going to put a BR tag and I close it immediately. Now remember what we did with our tags. If I clicked on the font tag, it would go purple so that I know that it ended over there. Now, if I click on the break tag, you see it goes purple without indicating that it's closed because we've already closed it. It's closed over there. If you don't have that, then you won't go purple. So you want to make sure that you include your little close. So it's just a once off tag. It doesn't close um, in another place. It's a, just an open close in one place. There we go. So if I break, press save, let's refresh. Watch here. Watch the Mr. Long and IT. Watch that part. Oh, there we go. You see it's on a new page. And if I make that bigger or smaller, 
it will always be on a brand new page there we go so that's great now the other one is a line now let's say i want a line between these two paragraphs so there's the end of the one paragraph there's the start of the other one over here i want to put in a line an hr tag which we close immediately so let's save it let's refresh and there we have a nice line across our page now i want to change the color of that line I want to change it to yellow. Let's save it and refresh. And there you can see our line is yellow. I want to make it a bit thicker. So we're going to add the size equals five. We're going to make it a little bit thicker. Save it. Refresh. There you can see it's gotten a bit thicker. And now I want to change how wide the line is. So the width is going to be equal to, let's make it to 50. So if I change it to 50, let's see what it looks like. Do you see it? It's like almost 50, 50 pixels. It's very small. Now, if I change it to 50%, now it's going to be 50% of the page. So if I look at there, that's 50% of the page. Like there's 25% of the page is here, 25 is there, and that's 50%. And if I make it bigger, do you see the line actually gets bigger as well? because it's always 50% of the page, where if I had it just 50, if I just had it 50, you would notice that it stays that size, that 50 pixel, no matter how big the page is, it always stays the same size. So you can apply whichever rule you want. If I wanted 50% of the page or 75% of the page, um, then you can do that. If you don't specify the width, then it'll be 100% of the page. So there we go. So that's the break tag, which closes immediately as well as the HR tag or the horizontal rule tag, which closes immediately as well. Want more videos? Go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, go look at our playlist to see other topics that could interest you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.